Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The Australian journeyman Lucas Brown is set to face German prospect Christian Thun, all six foot eight and a half inches of him, in July in Dubai. So Thun posting to a social media and see here on screen. So I'm not going to actually play the audio clip because I've got music blaring. I'll get copyrighted instantly. But Thun calling on Lucas Brown to sign the fight contract for a date July 10th in Dubai and calling Brown a big, stiff Brisbane plumber. So clearly Thun doesn't know his geography of where Lucas Brown is from because uh, Brisbane and Western Australia, where Lucas Brown are from, completely different sides of the Australian continent. And it is a continent. Uh, so yeah, but all, all the same, I'm sure he got that line or at least part of it from Tyson Fury, who you could see here with Christian Thun. And actually, I guess a little side note before we get to Lucas Brown, uh, six foot eight and a half of Christian Thun. So he is uh, towering over Tyson Fury by it looks to be at least an inch or two so I mean I know some people always um, ask the question how tall is Tyson Fury really He's not really six foot nine is he but I guess that's by the by but anyway Lucas Brown responded to that call out from Thun here it is he's a six foot eight and a half German um, he's training out of America and stuff like that uh, there was a video posted with him and Tyson Fury so you can see the fucking height of him he's a massive boy um, he's six and oh Four knockouts. Um, that will be July 10 uh, in Dubai. So I'm very excited to get to, to be able to get back into the ring. Um, he's a very big boy. Uh, great, great boxing skill. So it'd be good to test myself out again uh, with someone who <clears throat> is a touch taller rather than shorter. Um, I'm excited. I'm training. It's all happening again. Camp has begun. So Brown and Thun look set to fight on July the 10th in Dubai. And for Thun, this is actually one of those sort of, um, you know, resume builder type fights because he is the favorite here. And actually, I'll just address something that I know some people probably have already got bitter and twisted about calling Lucas Brown a journeyman. He is based off what we've seen, washed and around by Paul Gallen, stopped by Dave Allen, and now he's the B-side to a 6-0 prospect who hardly anyone outside of hardcore boxing fans has actually heard of. Thun, probably best known for sparring with Anthony Joshua, and I've actually got you know uh, an interview or you know a few clips of um, Thun talking about that experience up on the channel. I'll make that available at the end of this video. And now, obviously, uh, having appeared in this clip with Tyson Fury, that sort of stuff is the the things that builds his profile, as opposed to what he's done so far in his career. Obviously, he's a big unit, six foot eight. And a half but Lucas Brown facing this guy as the b-side coming off the worst loss of his career where he got washed and around I'm sorry he is a journeyman at this point but obviously with um, a puncher's chance too Christian Thun is not the finished product and obviously this is a, a step up from where he's sort of been uh, fighting he had a good win in 2020 against Jason Bergman and that was a much improved effort he fought like a big man behind the jab the jab looked better and when he had Bergman hurt you know he showed you know some good killer instinct and got him out of there it was a good performance by Christian Thun overall and I do think that this is a good resume builder for him I think this is one of those fights where he'll get more exposure, he can show his wares, and as Brown alluded to, Thun does have good skills. And not just that, he moves well for a big man. He's not just a stiff idiot, he can actually move around the ring quite fleet of foot. So I think this is all here for Christian Thun to you know setting him up to do well here against the guy there's been diminishing returns and facing and let's face it lucas brown in a year or two if he's still fighting and he continues to fight and lose he's going to have a whole bundle of losses on his record so at this stage you get him while he's only got what three losses on the resume his record alludes that he's not a journeyman but he is at this point what 42 years old and looking worse and worse by the fight 
So for Christian Thun, it's a good opportunity, exposure, and he can get uh, Lucas Brown, a former WBA belt holder, that name on his resume, and just keep building in- incrementally, taking those necessary steps. And then in the, in the next year or two, you know, you start to get towards the harder level of journeyman because Brown is not that anymore. But um, yeah, I don't mind the matchmaking for Christian Thun, given where he's at at 6-0. and for Lucas Brown, it's obviously a payday, and he'll be looking to try redeem himself. He's got a puncher's chance. He's, you know, he is heavy-handed, but given what we've seen in recent fights, certainly not looking good, and he certainly will be the underdog, and for good reason in this fight. Still, though, it is boxing. Christian Thun, not the finished article. You know, there is some scope for an upset, but I'm not expecting it. If Christian Thun is going anywhere in the heavyweight div- division, he's got to win, win well, and make the most of this opportunity. But what do you make of the matchup? Christian Thun and the Australian journeyman, Lucas Brown. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.